Silence on the set. Quiet on the set, please pan over there. You should get this. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, Bryce here again at Calgary Barbell. Today we're gonna go over the bench press. My best bench competition is 369 pounds. You might be asking yourself, why am I taking bench tips from a guy who only benches 370? Because I know your dad's uncle's former roommate in college did that for like sets of 10. But, because bench is probably my worst lift, unfortunately, I've had to do a lot of work to make sure that it's somewhat competitive and that I can use it to build my total. So first things first, in the setup, the first thing I do is lay down on the bench and I take my grip. I take a moderate grip, so ring fingers on the rings. This allows me to be close enough that I can keep my back, but wide enough that I can get a little bit of a flare and still follow through. I, I like to make sure that I'm taking the bar low in my palm, because if you take it too high, you're gonna end up with your wrists cocked back, which can cause all sorts of problems with over tucking and with losing some leverage. The next thing I do is I set my shoulders. So I push into the bar and use my feet up on the bench, to push myself back towards my head and to drive my shoulder blades together and down like I'm trying to tuck them into my back pockets. Once I got my back set, I do everything I can to keep it exactly where I set it while I set my butt down on the bench. Once my butt's on the bench, I set my feet on the floor. I like to duck my toes out a fair bit because I find that gives me a lot of stability. You can always get tighter. If anything on your body other than your shoulders and your elbows move, you're not tight enough. Everything needs to be jammed into place. You should be cramping, you should be so tight that it's terribly uncomfortable. If you're not, you're wasting energy. You're not gonna have as big a press as you could. You'll see a lot of people start to over tuck on the bench. Now, you do wanna load your lats to an extent. Personally anyways, I wanna load my lats to a certain extent. But if I get over tucked, then I got no pec involvement. So what I like to do is pull in a little, and as I get to the chest, I flare out into the pec, so I'm already loaded up to press off the chest. I use a little bit of a flare as I press through, and I take a little bit of an internally rotated grip to allow me to get a good flare. I touch just below, or just, just above, so high, high abs is about where my touch is. Um, and like I said, I don't use extra leg drive as I press, I keep my leg drive consistent, try to meet the bar, and then most of my press is coming from my upper body. So that's just what works for me on the bench. There's a lot of different people with different leverages that bench differently. For example, Seth here, and I'll let him tell you about that. Well, since my arms are a little shorter and the torso is a little thicker, I have to change things when compared to what Bryce does on his bench. So when Bryce likes to set his grip with internal rotation at his shoulders, I on the other hand like to be more neutral. I still want to pack myself in as tightly as possible, sucking my shoulder blades back and squeezing the shit out of the bar. Now as I get to the unwrap, I'm thinking about pulling the bar into myself with my lats, really forcing the shoulders together even further, and pushing my belly up as far as possible, basically trying to look like I'm eight months pregnant. As I'm lowering the bar, I'm thinking about loading up my lats and triceps to the greatest extent possible, and in order to do that, I'm really, really forcing a tuck. I'm actually trying to get my triceps in contact with my lats for basically the last four inches of my bench stroke. Now I'm in the bottom of the bench, I'm in an extremely tight and compacted position. And whereas Bryce likes to think, have a conscious effort to flare, I, on the other hand, just think about pushing the shit out of the bar as hard as I can. Boom. 